Mesothelioma strikes about 3,000 people per year. There are about 100 people here with us today. We are up against powerful economic interests. We're up against a powerful ingrained apathy towards the dangers of asbestos that's been present in our society for decades. So we're up against powerful forces. In my mind, a mesothelioma patient was in his 70s, was male, had worked in the industry, and it really had nothing to do with me and how little I knew. The mesothelioma patients live everywhere. I have one patient from the gold mines of Nevada. We have people from the Colorado River in, Air in Arizona and yet from all the parts of the country. Three years ago, on June 23rd, um, I heard the word mesothelioma for the first time. A big word for a 10-year-old child. I didn't know how to say it or spell it, but it alone know what it meant. My wonderful, go happy, go-lucky pop-up had been diagnosed with this horrible disease. Today, we demonstrated the power of the mesothelioma community and of those who care passionately about banning asbestos and about curing mesothelioma. I have written to anyone who would listen to me, and I plead today to our senators and congressmen to pass a complete ban on asbestos use in the United States and earmark more funds for mesothelioma research. And I consider it an honor and a privilege to be able to stand shoulder to shoulder with you people to go meet with our politicians and make our voices heard because together is the only way we are going to make an impact. The state of this, this situation with this foundation is as strong as I've ever seen it. And any organization that over 10 years can raise five million dollars, which is the size of one gigantic SPORE grant from the NCI to give to researchers to study one orphan disease, is pretty, pretty good. That's a pretty good track record. I, I've still not heard the words, no evidence of disease, which is the words we all hope to hear someday. And, uh, but that's okay, because I feel great today. I feel strong today, and as long as I have power to move my legs and raise my voice, I will see that we are heard.